All right, so you see the code, IF, error. Now, obviously, you're going to notice that you're not making ice. And so that's the issue. Now, the fan is located in the freezer section. And you're going to need to access the freezer section. you got to take the bins out. Pretty straightforward. Now, the only tricky part is, is the door. You're going to have two clips. You can push. And once you get the screwdriver inserted, it's a little clip you're pushing. And then you pull slowly as you insert. And then you just grab it by the two things. It comes right on out. It's not too bad at all. All right, you, you will have to remove the ice maker, two Phillips screws. Pull down slightly and pull. Don't forget to unplug the connector. Now the back cover here pops forward pretty easy. If it's frozen, you might need to use a steamer to get the ice melted somewhat. Now, you may have to use a hook pick to slowly get behind the cover if you can't grab it. Sometimes it's a little frozen, so you might have to use a steamer just in case. Make sure the unit is unplugged as well. Be careful with the wires as you lower this. Don't just let it drop, so keep it held. And then you're going to have four connectors. Keep that in mind so that when it's time to plug back in, you don't miss any. Now the error message could be any issues. It could be basically the door was left open, meaning could be the freezer door or it could be the refrigerator door. Just remember that. So pay attention to the door. And so right now we're comparing to that's a good fan. That's a good fan. Spins nice and smooth. No resistance. This is the bad assembly. That fan is actually still good. And that one is bad. Super hard to turn, doesn't want to move. The sad part is you have to buy the entire assembly. Now, if you do your research, you might be able to source the fan itself and pop it in without having to replace the entire assembly. So make sure you get your connection, all of them plugged in. You, If you're not paying close attention, you could actually miss one of those. So then you'll have to go back into the fridge and that's not fun. So you want to get the bottom in first and then kind of leave it there and get your get your connections plugged in. And like I said, make sure they are snugged. You'll see shortly when I plugged one in, it wasn't fully inserted. that plug it in again and push if you have habit you know of leaving the fridge open quite a bit while you're cooking all those things are horrible, horrible habits. Don't do it. If you have food that are, you know, hot, let them cool down before you put them into the freezer or the refrigerator because you're just adding way too much heat. Now, the ice maker, the one in the door, lives in the freezer, meaning it gets all the cold from your freezer. Also, if your ice fan is not functioning, it can cause your dispenser not to work. So if you notice your dispenser is not working, 
you might actually have some ice buildup on your ice fan. Also, what you might hear is the fan making noise. So if you do hear that, go ahead and unplug the fridge, open up the freezer and the refrigerator if you can. If you have a backup refrigerator, even better, go ahead and take everything out, leave the doors open and let it thaw. Let it thaw for a while. Or if you have a steamer, go ahead and steam it and that will help to dissipate any issues you might have. So otherwise, you might be in for a new fan, which is not too bad. You follow this video and you get it done. So I think we're pretty much done. So at the end of the video, you will see where I was using a feather and we were checking the ice fan to make sure it's operating or blowing. And you can do that as well. You will need a magnet. You place it on top. When the door closes, the lights should go off and give it a few seconds or so, then the unit will turn on. Minus one and then 38 for the refrigerator, so that's... Yeah, 38, it, you could actually be a little bit colder. Oh, um, so, it, so yeah, I'll adjust it to 37, yeah, which is right. really where you should be. Thank you. Uh, let's see if we can go up. I think originally on the paperwork it said 38, you know, yeah. 37. Yeah, 37 is better. I like it colder. Yeah, 37, 36 is good. And minus one, minus four is fine. Even zero. See it? Yeah. Yeah. That's the magnet. Light should come on shortly. Here we go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.